Marshals ready. Drivers ready. Live in five. Hey guys, welcome back to Live in 5RC. Today, I have something a little bit different. Something that I'll be honest, I wouldn't have purchased if I wasn't in such a jam. Uh, I was waiting for my new engines to be delivered, but I wanted to have a backup. Shoot, maybe even just an engine for an upcoming Nitro race before mine got here. I was looking coins between buying another $500 plus dollar engine while I waited, but after I was done with it, it would literally just sit on my shelves and do absolutely nothing. So, did I really want to spend those extra funds for something to just sit there. So I searched for other cheaper options. The first option is a used engine. I don't typically buy used engines. Um, I bought one and it was awesome. I bought another one and it was absolutely terrible. So I searched for other cheaper options. The first option was to buy a used engine, but of course that wasn't the greatest option. Uh, the second was the risk versus the price. like. The risk of buying a used engine versus buying a um, used engine for a high dollar that has multiple gallons on it, it's just not worth it to me. So the other option was to spend an additional four to five hundred dollars on a new engine and blow my RC budget like completely out. Or three was to find something else that wasn't crazy expensive and had a shot of being good. So here it is. I picked up an Adam SV1R 3 port. First off, let me say thanks to Dialed RC Hobbies for their fast, awesome shipping. It came well packaged and came really quickly. The Atom SV1R is a 3 port long stroke engine. It's compared to like the OZ or the OS 21XZB Spec 2 engine, which is actually a really good engine. I would like to run them if I could, but. Um, I have to run a different engine for this season, so. Um, the best pipe for this engine would probably be like an OS 2090, a Nova 2096, or the Efra 2106. It just depends on which one you'd like. Uh, it's a 3.5cc with a bore of 6.26mm and a stroke of 16.8mm. It accepts P3 or P4 turbo plugs and weighs 329 grams, so it's actually pretty light for what it is. So let's go ahead and take this thing out and have a good look at it. So it does come with a nice sticker sack. I'm probably not going to use those. We'll try to just throw them away. But it does come sealed in a nice bag. So it comes nice and sealed as you can see. It does come with a six and a half and a seven millimeter Venturi, which is always nice to have the two different options. Um, it does have some nicely etched labeling on both sides. So as you can see, it says the 21 on the one side and then the Atom on the crankcase. So it does actually look pretty nice actually, I'm surprised. Um, it is just a ball bearing engine, so sorry, nothing ceramic inside this one. Um, but let's go ahead and take it out of the bag and have a good look. So now that we have it out of the bag, I'm actually noticing one thing as I took it out of the package. There's no instructions included. No run-in notes, no basic carb settings, nothing. So that's a little surprising to me. Um, it's just one of those other things that you like to have within um, the boxing. 
So what I did was I went to their website, which is, uh, where is it? Um, right here. This weekend-rc.com to see if I could find like any type of information, any type of data, um, pretty much anything on the engine. And their website was absolutely no help. There's no downloads, no manuals, no instructions, nothing. It's honestly, it looks like it's still being built. So I was a little surprised by that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna start with like basic OS carb settings for my initial engine start and see where that does. So now we have the engine actually out of the package and having a look at it, it's actually really clean. I like it. It's good styling. Um, has a nice exhaust gasket on it, things like that. But here's the crazy factor about this engine. And you, you're going to laugh when I say it. This engine is $179.99. Yep, you heard me right. It's $180. So right there, that sort of changed my mind. I could have bought a used engine for about the same price um, that I bought this thing brand new for. So I think that was pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. It's, I mean, what $180 is, is sort of worth it to me for a brand new engine. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. I liked it, but we'll see. We'll have to see how it actually does on the track. So this was just a quick look at the Atom SV1R Nitro engine. Um, I'll be at the track later this week to fire it up for the first time, get some run time and some break in. So we'll see how it goes. But I do want to, again, quick mention to Dial RC Hobbies. Thanks for the quick shipping. I really appreciate it. I did purchase this engine with my own money. Uh, so I have no affiliation with Dial RC Hobbies. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add a link down in the description for this engine and for dialed RC hobbies so you can check out their site if you want um, but thanks for watching live in 5RC be sure to like the video below and consider subscribing for lots of RC content in our next video uh, check us out on Facebook as well for where, where we'll be filming next and, and when we'll be filming next I know we're heading down to PNB here in the next couple of weeks so be prepared to see us down there but other than that, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the Atom SV1R. And go check out Dialed RC Hobbies to check out this engine. And get yours on order today.